now you love dinosaurs. degrees, 60 degrees down there, even with the door open. All right. We've got a double pooper here. So that way you and the twins can poop. So on our way to our next campsite in Montana, uh, Forrest saw a sign for a ghost town. And if you don't know Forrest, he loves him a good abandoned place, building, anything like that. So we had to stop by. Uh, so right now we're going up there. And it said it was about 11 miles on this road to get to this ghost town. So it's in the middle of nowhere. We're flooring it. We can only do 25 going up the mountain. Here at this Garnet Ghost Town. Had to go 11 miles out of the way to find it, but there's a whole little town here. Like, I'm so tickled pink. I've been waiting for this since we've been traveling America. So now we get to check it out. Looks like we're just getting into the town center here.
So we're going upstairs now. We're gonna see, because they say that there's a ghost in one of the bedrooms. If you take a picture in either the mirror or in the window, you can see her. So we're gonna take some pictures. What we got here, Jess? One of the homes, and it was the home of Mary Jane and her parents. Mary Jane's house. And her parents, so they shared these two rooms. Very nice. Let's see what we've got in here. There's still some toys. Old chest. I don't think those toys are air specific. We've survived the drunken tank, and now it's time to go into the saloon and party like they did in the 1800s. So let's uh, go get drunk like it's 1990, or 1900. I was like, 1990? 1800. <laughs> what are you gonna have? Um, I'm gonna take uh, Giobel beer. Giobel. Yeah, or whatever comes in this. I'll take the brandy, I think. The brandy. Hey babe, do you want to go in the back and play some cards at the table? Poker in the back? Yeah, poker in the back. Liquor in the front? <laughs> well, hey, 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 hey. No dirty jokes here. <laughs> That's the saloon. We're about to go check out the schoolhouse and post office and pretty much all of the, the town center. Oh, sick. It's a rocking bed. It's your baby rocker. Huh. So There's where all the mail went. Oh yeah. Mail slots. I guess that was like mail carrier. Backpack for for hiking. For carrying a baby, maybe. I don't know what. It is. It is a big wood stove. Definitely keep it warm in here. U.S. Corps or something. Oh yeah, the barrel stove. Okay, let's go in the next room. Oh, cool. This is the trophy room. The trophy room. Yeah, these are not good trophies. As he's saying trophies, I think he means these saws. I mean, all of the stuff. <laughs> okay. I wonder what this was. We preserved. Hey, bartender, can you bring me up? Bucky, what do you, what do you have today? You want to have? drink some sweet pickles, yeah? Ew, <laughs> I don't want to drink sweet pickles. What well, else do you have? Coca-Cola or peanut butter? Hmm, Coca-Cola, I think. Coca-Cola sounds nice. <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> it's on the house today. Oh, it's on the house? Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Over the o'clock. <gasps> what time is it? The hands are missing. Half past moose knuckle? Half past moose knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> So we tried to hit up Glacier National Park, um, but unfortunately, like most of the park is closed. So there was like an 11 mile stretch of road that we were allowed to take the school bus on without going all the way around the park. Uh, the fires are pretty much blocking off a lot of it. So we tried to get a little fun, but, or a little film, but with all the burnt trees and stuff, there wasn't really too much that we could see. So kind of bummed about that. And sorry, we couldn't get more footage to show you this amazing park because we didn't get to see it ourselves.